Hi, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bespoke pen cap. It's going to be a series of three videos. One for the cap, part one. Next one will be the body. And the third one will be the section. So stay tuned and we'll get started. In the lathe, I have a piece of redwood burl. I have it faced on one side only so far. And what we're going to do is something like this. This is for the cap. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do this one, but it's uh, rather difficult. But um, this would be a first time for me doing a tapered cap that's uh, sleeved from the outside like this. So you've seen me do a tapered cap before, but it's always been a solid body um, of the same type of material. Um, in order for me to get this figured out to do it the exact way that I needed to do it, I needed to make a prop, cut it in half, and see what everything looked like, and see how the wall thicknesses were, and if I was okay with everything. And um, pretty happy with the way this turned out. Of course, it's much easier and cheaper starting out with a, a cheap $2 blank. Um, this is a little bit deeper than I would normally do it. Um, so that's why it's good doing a prop first, trying to figure out your dimensions. Uh, this is the piece of wood here that I've sort of to cut to go along with that. Uh, so you can see exactly how that fits inside. And uh, this will be uh, a cap on the outside of the same type of material that I'm going to be using. Um, this is 7 16 the outside diameter here, 19 30 seconds for the outside diameter there. Inside diameter of this is uh, 33 64 that's a triple start thread. And then uh, this, I believe, is a 3 8 No. Oh. Yeah, I think it's 3 8 um, So anyway, um, let me show you how this will work. Um, so this is going to go in here like this. This will actually be scooted all the way up inside. This is a little bit deeper so that this does not touch just beyond that right there. But you get the basic idea. So to take all the boring, no pun intended, boring work out of this, this is the cap. I've already drilled everything out, uh, tapped it, and uh, relieved the inside about um, an eighth of an inch. You can kind of see that there where there's no threads. That way it snaps on a little bit easier. And this is also a triple star thread and you get the basic idea. So that'll be the cap for the new pen that I'm making. Um, so the lines here that you see are gonna correspond with what you see here. Um, this is gonna be dropped down from here from a shoulder, and then from here this is gonna be exposed all the way down to th this uh, 7 16 diameter which is here 7 16 and 1930 seconds. So again, that's what I have drilled out here and then stepped down to the 7 16 on the interior. So, or excuse me, 3 8 on the interior and the outside diameter here will be like what you see here, 7 16 from here to this line and then 1930 seconds to this line here. So anyway, that's what we're going to do here in uh, this video. But first, we're going to drill this out here. And I have a 1930 seconds drill bit already in here. And then I just got to make sure that this line is correct uh, before I start drilling. A 
Okay, that's drilled out and you can't really see the step on the inside. But anyway, if you take this, you shove it inside there. You can hear that hit. And that's uh, pretty good as far as uh, the way I think it should fit on the inside. And I do want that protruding out of, you know, a bit, about a half an inch minimum uh, when I put the piece of uh, ebonite cap on the outside. So, and then this is a little bit longer uh, because it's going to accommodate a quarter of an inch right there. So anyway, so far so good. Okay, so the next step is to turn the cap down at this line right here. You can barely see it here to 1930 seconds and then we'll step it down here. And then to do that, we're going to use my makeshift mandrel. This is a three start thread, which fits in there. And then this is also a multi purpose. You've seen this before, where this is threaded on the inside to accept the body. So this is, goes into the three quarter inch uh, collet, a little tight. I have it dimpled on the other side here already for the live sound. Okay, I took a piece of brass and um, I don't know what thickness this is but it's a piece of scrap that I had left over I just drilled this out in the drill press uh, using the same uh, drill bit that I used uh, to drill this out with right here and you can see that that fits in there like that and that's going to be a decorative ring uh, before I put the wood on so I've got a little bit of a line, I just need to cut that around that. Being that I don't have a metal lathe, uh, this is the way that I chose to do it, just to drill it out, and then I'm just gonna cut that around. And I'll probably use the uh, metal cutting bandsaw that I have, or actually I just have a, my regular bandsaw with a metal cutting blade. Okay, so here's what we've got going on so far. On the end, uh, I turned that down a quarter inch by quarter inch tenon, and I cut this small piece of ebonite uh, that is a quarter inch by a quarter inch uh, diameter hole to, mit, to fit that like that. And then this is where the clip will go. These two lines right here, uh, this is the step down and then this is um, the, this end line here. This is actually the bottom of the inside of the, of the cap. So 
kind of like what you see here from a scrap piece that I messed up on. Um, so that's about something like that. Um, well, this is right here is where the taper is going to be. It's actually about an eighth of an inch further back is where the step is. But then this is where I want to start my taper as I start tapering down that cap. So it's probably about like that. Okay, that's glued up, and I can get ready and start to turn that next. Okay, here's a rough uh, view of that cap. It looks pretty good so far. I just put a couple coats of uh, CA Thin on there and I uh, just got to round off the, the end and um, just do a uh, finish with micro mesh on it and then uh, put the clip on and then that'll be good. Okay, I got the clip. Uh, polished up and shaped to the top um, only one way to clamp that down is just using tape electrical tape to be exact the holes are I'm just going to use it to drill these holes and then uh, put the screws on it and then that cap is done okay so let's recap what we did here uh, this is just under three inches long total for the cap and it's pretty close to scale um, I use a what I call a stupid stick for measurements nice and easy if I run that to the first line that's where it stops that's where this first step is a quarter inch one and a quarter inches down from the end of the cap and then if I step it all the way down that takes me to the second line and then that's another inch further and you can see how that works here like that so that's what the inside of the cap looks like the cap itself came out pretty good the way it steps down and tapers and of course that's my 50 caliber clip so I use a 14 millimeter triple start threads over here and then just like what we saw on the uh, the blue cutaway like that and that's how that works on the inside so thanks for watching have a good day